So is Star Wars science fiction? Is it space opera? Or is it fantasy? Lots of opinions. Lots of pronouncements, summaries, judgments. I look at Star Wars as as everyone who's a fan of it as one of the most influential, one of mo one of the most popular movie franchises of all time. And its popularity means that its fans are loyal, they're passionate. I'm a I'm a passionate fan of Star Wars. Then you have Star Trek, of course, and this is the great debate back and forth, Star Trek versus Star Wars. Later, of course, Stargate, another great popular franchise, far more science fiction, maybe a little bit more science fiction than either Star Wars or Star Trek, but the delineation, sort of the, you know, that, that dividing line between science fiction and sci-fi a fantasy or space opera. Now, I guess the best way to, for me, to remember what space opera is, you look at sort of Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon, these larger than life heroes, these larger than, certainly larger than life adventure serials. And they're dealing with sci-fi elements. They're in space, they meet aliens, but the driving force behind them is that hero, that um, almost like a superhero, a Buck Rogers, a Flash Gordon, and they keep driving that action. So it's not about exploration per se. It's not about finding, as Star Trek does, new life forms, new, new civilizations, new science concepts or science fiction. It's about that driving, fantastical, heroic force. We have Star Wars, Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan, Kenobi, Darth Vader, Han Solo. In fact, you look at Han Solo, he's almost like Buck Rogers plopped into Star Wars. He's sort of roguish or Flash Gordon. He's a hero or an anti-hero. And then he buddies up with uh, Luke Skywalker and, and becomes, you know, an important part of the, the rebellion. And if you look up Star Wars in terms of space opera, you know, rankings and description... This comes from cultureslate.com. According to Wiki, a space opera is a subgenre of sci fi that emphasizes science fiction, space, and warfare with use of melodrama, risk taking space adventures, relationships, and romance. And again, if you look at sort of almost the love triangle in the beginning with Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and Princess Leia, you know, subsequently, we find out that Leia and Luke are brother and sister, but this is the hallmark of sort of space opera, fantasy, a almost a fairy tale. And George Lucas sort of clued us in in the very beginning, right, in a galaxy far, far away, as when we tell our children fairy tales you know, in a land far, far away. Now, this doesn't take away from me, I think, or any fan that Star Wars still uses great sci-fi uh, uh, concepts, uh, the, the hyperspace, even the lightsaber. I mean, you, you look at the lightsaber as obviously a, a, a similarity and analog to, to the saber, you know, in me a metal saber, a sword, and it's sort of knights in shining armor, Jedi knights in shining ar armor with their swords, but their energy swords, their plasma swords. And it's still one of the most fascinating science fiction concepts, which perhaps one day will be uh, finally invented. Boy, what a day that will be. A fun day, a great day, but kind of a scary day. People run around with energy swords. But this is the difference between sort of the science fiction, the hardcore fantasy or space opera. And I guess space opera really melds the two. Take science fiction concepts and uses them in a sort of a fantasy, fantastical way. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.